36 title tracks, and one guy to rank them all. Let's see how we do. Also, quick shout out to the channel Married to the Music. I stole your idea. They're linked in the description. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Here are my rankings from number 36 to number 27. As you can tell, I'm not really a fan of the Japanese releases. The soundscape seems very outdated, using mostly electronic elements for the instrumental. I'm also pretty sure that they say I like you straight up multiple times in all of these tracks. It's a weird nitpick, I know, but it's just me. <laughs> I do want to shout out the track Stay By My Side though, a cool electronic love song that reminds me just a little of Girls' Generation's debut. This one's pretty much a cheat code. Using an ultimate classic in the Jackson 5's I Want You Back and putting a more upbeat tropical rendition of it. Damn was this track sick. A slight little ceremonial tune to uplift your day. Only somewhat though as the track does get a bit stale, with the synths not holding up its bargain for the whole track. One of the more darker title tracks with this one describing a very toxic relationship. I don't have a specific critique on this one, I feel like it's just missing that it factor that the other tracks have. Nothing special to me. Whoa, now I know some of y'all are going crazy right now. Their worst Korean title track? Hear me out. Not a bad song, far from it actually. I just think the others are better. If we were ranking these tracks based on how cute the members come off as, oh this is gonna be at the top. I wrote in the script that I should fall in this section. Um, I'm too scared to do that. So, um, number 22. My only gripe with this song is that due to the soft bells and the very soft chords, I only really listen to this at Christmas. Solid track that has one of the more lovelier, heartwarming lyrics. The hook especially is a beautiful thing. This was one of my favorite Twice songs when I first discovered them. That innocent, catchy hook, the nostalgia-driven arpeggiators. It did slowly fall out of my rotation though. The concept of this song is pretty funny, saying that their heart is pretty much a door and keep on knocking on it and you'll be able to enter. The, the dance is cool though. The intro on this track was eye-catching for sure. The funky melody line leading into pretty much a Christmas love song. This was hella cool, although Twice seems just a bit too selfish on this one. Another solid entry from Twice. However, it feels like this song is a derivative of the other tracks. It feels like I've heard it before. The high-pitched robotic vocal inflections though did add a little spice on the track. A tropical single for the summer. I believe there's a ukulele being used as the main melody and it definitely helps out in creating that calm, peaceful day on the beach vibe. This is pretty different from the rest of the discography, so I do really respect this entry. However, this song is pretty low on the list, as I just live in such a somber room, bro. This song is not what I need for this atmosphere. This is THE song to dance with your friends on the beach. A summer banger that's just hella fun, where it proves that a cool synth line and a simple kick pattern can go a long way. However, the horns in the hook are slightly off-putting to me, as it kinda just comes out of nowhere. The high note from Nyon was crazy though. The chorus is killer on this one. It seems like the sweet Candyland fest of an instrumental was the perfect basing for the icing of the charming, adorable vocal performances. How can you not sing to this? A vast, spacious atmosphere in the verses that led to this colorful, expansive beat drop that honestly swept me off my feet when I first heard this. The glitchy, almost psychotic breakdown that continues onto the rap verses of Dayan and Chaeyoung was just instrumental bliss. A great track overall. Any type of song that makes me want to stand up and celebrate something I haven't done is a goddamn hit. The first English single from Twice, and it definitely didn't disappoint. This one has a very cute feel to it, and that bass line is one hell of a thing, capturing what Twice is all about. How they flow on the verses is honestly peak twice. The subject matter is of course another love song, but the way they tie a person hesitating to ask out their crush to a bunch of scientist-esque things throughout the whole track? Honestly, if I knew some Korean, this track would be higher up the list. The most quirky and innocent twice song in my opinion. The electric robot feel of the vocals in the hook further encapsulates pretty much the members trying to send a signal to their crushes. 
I may be a little biased here, but I do think that this track is underrated. A very much feel good track that makes my day brighter than what it was before. It may be an over ecstatic hook with happy happy lines, but I commend this song for always putting a smile on my face. You, 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 I ate yo kata. Hey. The catchiest twice song I've ever heard. I love how the snare filled pre chorus hypes up the chorus of this track, into which I'm pretty much hypnotized at this point. I didn't account for the choreo in this song when I did this ranking, but if I did, the TT dance is so iconic that this may have been number one. Oh, I got one final question though. The hell does TT mean? One of the first twice songs I've heard, and is still in the rotation till this day. What the hell happens when I'm in love is the question being asked throughout the song and the mysterious but cheerful game show like instrumental really blends in well with the concept of the song. This song is everywhere. Everywhere. The festival feeling of the instrumental, Nayeon's cheerful but powerful vocal performance, and of course, we can't forget about the pop pop section. Took me like a solid week to finally figure out how to do it. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, uh. <laughs> Definitely a special track with a very unique instrumental from the rest. The high pitched vocal chops glisten the record's already bright and sparkly soundscape. The progression of this song is the one thing that I have to praise it for though. This song never has one bland moment. This track is Christmas, affectionate, romantic music bliss. I love the way that the song eggs you on to just go ahead and talk to your love. And that bridge with the heavy drums is pretty much the final straw for this track being absolutely amazing. Hell yeah. This track sounds expensive right off the bat with those echoey vocal chops, and paired with the sliding bass, this song is just euphoric. That hook is so iconic that I think it's recognized everywhere, and for good reason. An upfront twice that isn't afraid to show off their true feelings. Amazing track. Moving on to my top three. Honestly, if any of these tracks were your number one, I would not be mad at you. Building off of the futuristic soundscape from Fancy, I Can't Stop Me has twice his best elements at their peak. Gio and Nyon's vocal performances for the hook are as on point as ever, powerful yet elegant, and those vocal elements in the post chorus take this track onto another level, elevating this 80s pop music inspired record. What a way to have a comeback. Not gonna lie to you, I know the dance to this, but forget that, Cheer Up is a cheerful, bubbly track that's just telling you to cheer up my guy. The girls like you, but they just want to see if you like her back. The star-like synths on this track and the build-ups in this record are just too good for words. Iconic dance, iconic hook, iconic bridge, what else can I say about this track? Crazy how their debut track is their best one. Like Ooh Ah is the climax of Twice's music with its simple yet addictive butterfly-like instrumental. The vocal performances of all the members are so charismatic that the record would be nothing without it. Twice is just trying to find someone to love and with this grand anthem of a bridge in the track, like Ooh Ah is a classic record in this genre. Twice was one of the first K-pop groups I've ever heard. Thanks, Adib. If you guys want to know more about K-pop, there's already a video right next to me that you can check out. You know damn well we gonna make it.